It's good to have you with us on the cafe. It is a collection of some of the world's most powerful images all under one roof. Rotary presents to Auckland the World Press Photo Exhibition, a selection of incredible photographs handpicked from the world's best photojournalists and press and documentary photographers and exhibited in 45 countries around the world. With us now is former Auckland Rotary Chair and intellectual property lawyer Craig Horrocks. Craig, thank you for joining us. Thank you, Mel. Thank you, Mike. Nice to be here. Great to have you. This has become quite an institution, this exhibition in Auckland now, hasn't it? Tell it us has. a bit about the history. Well, we picked this because it's very aligned with some of the key issues. Peace. We like peace. Um, child and maternal health. We like those things as well. So th these are uh, uh, six major areas of focus are really reflected in photojournalism in each of these exhibitions. So we've been going for five years plus, and 16,000 people came last year. Wow. Gosh, 16,000 through the doors to look at these through photos. Through the doors, yes. And so these photos, just to give a quick background, where are they selected from? Well, this is an international competition, mm. and there are tens of thousands of uh, applicants every year, and only a few winners, of, obviously. And we, we feature uh, a selection of the top sort of 40 or 50. Uh, and some of them, are, when they say 40, 50, some of them are a series, as we'll see here today. Mm. Nice, and this is good because a lot of people can go and see it in Auckland, but for those that aren't in Auckland, we can show them some of these photos, can't we? Yep, absolutely. Okay, so let's have a look yeah. at what we've got here. You can talk us through. This one was the overall winner, wasn't it? It was, and it's a slightly grainy, mystical photo, uh, which is talking about the hardship that these uh, refugees have in tr trying to get across the borders. As you know, uh, Hungary closed the borders and this photo is passing a baby through razor wire. Wow, gosh. And if, if just those words really say yeah. everything yeah. about the desperation and that uh, is involved. Face. Yes. And what also I find fascinating is the fact that there is a photojournalist there documenting these things as they're happening. Absolutely. And the thing about going along to an exhibition like World Press is you're reminded that there are people putting their lives on the line day in, day out as photojournalists. You know, a lot get mm. killed, imprisoned. You know, th this uh, particular winning photograph, the photojournalist spent weeks with the people right on the border in really terrible conditions with them, trying to build confidence, okay. and then he got that image. Should have got a couple more? Yeah, it's beautiful too, that image. Okay, let's have a look at a couple more. March oh. Against Violence, I think, is our next one here. So tell us about this one. Well, this is uh, a march after uh, one of the young uh, black people were killed by uh, police in America, um, which resulted in the hashtag Black Lives Matter. And the thing I find very interesting about this photograph, of course, is that it's uh, a black cop with a young black youth and the tension. Mm. You can just see that there's, they're speaking to each other. Um, and if you stand in front of the uh, image, you wonder what they're saying. Mm, you do. <laughs> Let's keep looking at some of the photos. And while we're having a look at them, because I think the next one is a series of four photos for reporting yes. Europe's refugee crisis. Um, what's the criteria? Obviously, they're not allowed to be computer enhanced. Is there any sort of rules? There are a lot of rules, but the simple thing is they've got to be real. Right. So what you're, what you're seeing is history in the making. Uh, this uh, series of photographs here Gosh, reminds us all about the sea journeys that we just hear about in the press every day uh, and here then, then uh, uh, moving on to other scenes related to the refugees' journey. Uh, this, this last one, you know, you couldn't really uh, do other than say, those people look tired, they look mm. oppressed, uh, and you wonder why they're doing it. It's interesting, isn't it? Because it's not always about the most perfectly composed photo, is it? It's about the the, the way it makes you feel and the image, it's what it's representing, isn't it? And what it's Absolutely. portraying that's more yeah. important than the actual composition of the photo. Absolutely. And some of the funniest photos that we've seen over the years have been just that. You know, it's things that just you look at it and you think, that is really, really quirky. But uh, the last series of the photos um, actually talks to that other side. We've got this photos yes, in sp sports and uh, other topics. This is about ethnography, uh, in other words, documenting um, particular cultural um, behaviours. This is in Spain, and uh, in a little town they, they have this competition about uh, uh, decorating altars. 
and the young uh, girls in the town then have to sit for hours on these altars um, looking perfect. I'd be terrible at that. <laughs> I would be terrible at that. So how many photos approximately do you have in the exhibition? Uh, this year, um, I think it's about 90. So, uh, nice. the, yeah. Yeah. What do you think people are fascinated about when it comes to watching or seeing these photos? Because for me personally, I think a, a picture says a thousand words, and rather than listening to a news bulletin about what's going on, you can probably say a lot more with one simple photo. Do you think that's part of the appeal? Well, w watching people come to the exhibition, and particularly realising that people are coming back year after year, often you just see them standing there. And I think it's a time to um, reflect think about history. We had a lot of, lot of uh, school parties through, which is obviously a great teaching tool. Mm. And uh, I think it's, it, you can spend time personally with the, with the image, thinking about all the issues that are involved in it. I think it makes a nice change from YouTube videos and sort of short, yes. sharp videos that look at a really good picture. Well, thank you so much for coming in today. Uh, some very powerful images. Craig, it has been an absolute pleasure having you in the studio. Now let's check in, oh sorry, the World Press Photo Exhibition. It yes. runs in Auckland from tomorrow until the 24th of July.